Does your PC feel slow, even when you're doing almost nothing? Your apps take forever to open. Your RAM is always maxed out, but you haven't installed anything new or upgraded your hardware. Here's the thing. Windows quietly hoards memory in the background, and unless you know where to look, it never really frees it up. But with just a few quick tweaks, no extra software required, you can free up RAM instantly and get your PC running smoother than it has in months. In this guide, I'll show you how to reduce memory usage, fix background leaks, and stop Windows from eating resources for no reason, all using built-in tools and hidden settings. Let's talk about Microsoft Edge. Even if you never open it, Edge might still be running in the background, using up memory. Why? Edge is deeply integrated into Windows. It handles things like opening web-based help links, running system widgets, preloading in the background, just in case you open it. And that preloading behavior? It can quietly consume hundreds of megabytes of RAM, even when you're using a different browser like Chrome or Firefox. So naturally, a lot of people want to uninstall it. But here's the catch. If you go to Settings, Apps, the Uninstall button is usually grayed out. Why is that? Well, Microsoft doesn't let most users remove Edge because they've made it part of the core Windows experience, unless you're in the European economic area. How to safely uninstall Microsoft Edge, even if you're not in Europe. Download WinToys. Just search WinToys in the Microsoft Store or online. It's free. Open WinToys and go to the Tweaks section. Click the System tab. Find the toggle that says Enable Digital Markets Act DMA and turn it on. Restart your PC. Now go to Settings, Apps, Installed Apps, search for Microsoft Edge. You'll now see the Uninstall button is available. And yes, it really works. Edge will be completely removed from your system. And if you ever want it back, you can just reinstall it from the Microsoft Store. Step 1. Close unused apps and background tasks. Let's start with the easiest and most effective way to reduce memory usage. Closing apps and background tasks you're not actively using. Even if nothing looks open on your screen, many programs run silently in the background, taking up RAM and CPU resources. Things like launchers, updaters, chat apps, or even multiple browser tabs can quietly eat into your system's memory. Here's how to clean that up. Click the Start menu, then type Task Manager and open it, or just press Ctrl plus Shift plus ESC as a shortcut. Go to the Processes tab. This shows everything currently running on your system. Click the Memory column header to sort by RAM usage. You can also sort by CPU or GPU if you're troubleshooting other slowdowns. Look for any apps you're not currently using, like game launchers, chat apps, or update services. Right-click on each one and choose End Task. This will immediately stop the process and free up the memory it was using. Step 2. Disable unnecessary startup programs to save RAM and speed up boot time. A lot of apps sneak into your startup list, meaning they automatically launch every time your PC turns on, even if you don't use them right away. This not only slows down your boot time, but also eats up memory in the background. Here's how to take back control. Press Ctrl plus Shift plus ESC to open Task Manager. You can also right-click the taskbar and select Task Manager. Click the Startup tab at the top. This shows you all the apps set to run at boot and how much impact each one has on your system. Go through the list and look at the Startup Impact column. Apps marked as high can noticeably affect your performance if they're not essential. Right-click on any non-essential app and choose Disable. For example, things like Discord, Steam, OneDrive, Adobe Updaters, or RGB controllers can all be disabled unless you need them right away at boot. Keep only Essentials enabled, like your antivirus, audio drivers, GPU software, or anything else you truly use immediately after startup. Step 3. Turn off non-essential background services to free up memory. Many services run silently in the background, and while some are crucial for Windows to work properly, others are optional and can consume resources unnecessarily. Here's how to safely disable non-Microsoft services you don't need. Press Windows plus R to open the Run dialog box. Type msconfig and press Enter. This opens the System Configuration window. Go to the Services tab at the top. First, check the box that says Hide All Microsoft Services. This is important because it filters out essential Windows services, so you don't accidentally disable anything critical. Now disable third-party services that aren't necessary. Next, switch to the Startup tab, then click Open Task Manager. In Task Manager's Startup tab, go through the list and disable any startup programs you don't need launching at boot. You can re-enable them anytime if you change your mind. 
When finished, close both the system configuration and task manager windows. At this point, choose Exit Without Restart. You'll restart your PC later after completing all tweaks. Step 4. Optimize and defragment your drive for better performance. If you're using a traditional hard disk drive, HDD, fragmentation can cause your PC to slow down noticeably over time. Fragmentation happens when files are scattered across different parts of the drive, making it take longer for your system to read and write data. Here's how to fix that by optimizing and defragmenting your drive. Click the Start menu and type Defragment in the search bar. Select Defragment and Optimize Drives from the results to open the tool. In the list, find your C drive or the drive where Windows is installed. Click on it to select. Then click the Optimize button below. The system will analyze and start optimizing your drive. This process can take anywhere from a few minutes to longer, depending on how fragmented your drive is and whether you have an HDD or an SSD. Note, if you have a solid state drive, SSD, Windows performs a different type of optimization called trim, which helps maintain SSD performance and longevity. Don't worry, this tool automatically detects the drive type and runs the appropriate process. Once complete, your drive will be more organized, which means faster file access, quicker program launches, and an overall smoother experience. Step 5. Disable the SysMain SuperFetch service to free up RAM. SysMain, formerly known as SuperFetch, is a Windows service designed to speed up app loading times by preloading frequently used programs into memory. Sounds helpful, right? But in reality, for many users, especially those with limited RAM or slower hard drives, it can actually consume a lot of system resources and cause high disk and memory usage, leading to sluggish performance. Here's how to disable it safely. Press Windows plus R on your keyboard to open the Run dialog box. Type services.msc and press Enter to open the services window. Scroll through the list to find SysMain. It might still show as SuperFetch on older systems. Double-click on SysMain to open its properties. Click the Stop button to halt the service immediately. Next, change the Startup Type drop-down menu to Disabled to prevent it from running again after a reboot. Click Apply, then OK to save your changes. Disabling SysMain often helps reduce excessive disk activity and frees up RAM, which can improve overall system responsiveness, especially on older or low-memory PCs. Step 6. Adjust visual effects to improve performance and free up memory. Windows has a lot of sleek animations and visual effects that make the interface look modern and smooth, but all these eye candy features use extra memory and CPU power. If your PC feels sluggish, dialing back these effects can give you a noticeable speed boost. Here's how to customize your visual effects without losing too much of the polished look. Press Windows plus R to open the Run dialog. Type sysdm.cpl and press Enter. This opens the System Properties window. Click on the Advanced tab at the top. Under the Performance section, click the Settings button. In the Visual Effects tab, select Custom to pick and choose which effects you want to keep. Make sure to check only these options for a good balance between performance and usability. Show thumbnails instead of icons helps you quickly identify files visually. Smooth edges of screen fonts makes text easier to read. Show window contents while dragging keeps window content visible when moving. Save taskbar thumbnail previews for quick app switching. Animations in the taskbar for a subtle, clean look. Uncheck all other options to minimize memory and CPU use. Click Apply, then OK to save your changes. Step 7. Tweak memory settings in the Windows Registry. Advanced, be careful. This step involves modifying the Windows Registry to improve how your system handles virtual memory. It's a powerful tweak, but it requires caution. Making incorrect changes in the registry can cause system problems. So make sure to follow the instructions carefully and back up your registry before proceeding. Here's how to do it. Press the Start button, type Regedit, and open Registry Editor. Before making any changes, back up your registry. In the Registry Editor, navigate to the following path. Look for the key named Clear Page File at Shutdown. Double-click on Clear Page File at Shutdown and change the value data from 0 to 1. Click OK to save the change, and then close the Registry Editor. Step 8. Switch to a high-performance power plan. Your Windows power plan controls how your PC balances energy use and performance. By default, 
Many systems use a balanced plan that conserves power but can limit your CPU speed and responsiveness. Switching to high performance tells your PC to prioritize speed and power, which can noticeably improve performance, especially during gaming, video editing, or heavy multitasking. How to switch? Press Windows plus R to open the Run dialog box. Type powercfg.cpl and press Enter to open the Power Options window. Look through the available plans and select High Performance. If you don't see it, click on Show Additional Plans to reveal more options. Once selected, your PC will reduce power-saving features like CPU throttling and keep your processor running at higher speeds for smoother performance. Step 9. Use Disk Cleanup to free system space. Over time, your Windows system accumulates a lot of unnecessary files that take up valuable disk space and can slow down your PC. Using Disk Cleanup is a safe and effective way to clear out these junk files and reclaim space, helping your system run smoother. How to do it? Open the Start menu, type Disk Cleanup, and launch the app. When prompted, select your C drive, usually the system drive, then click OK. After Disk Cleanup scans your drive, click Clean Up System Files at the bottom left. This lets you remove system-level files that aren't visible in the basic scan. Select C drive again and wait for the new scan. Once the list populates, carefully check the following boxes. Temporary files, files from apps, and the system that can be safely deleted. Delivery optimization files, leftover files from Windows updates that can be removed. Windows update cleanup, old update files no longer needed. DirectX shader cache, optional but recommended to clear, can help fix graphics-related performance issues. Click OK, then choose Delete Files to confirm. Step 10. Clear the temp folder. Temporary files accumulate quickly on your system, often taking up unnecessary space and slowing down your PC. Clearing out the temp folder is a simple way to free up storage and help your computer run more smoothly. Here's how to do it. Press Windows plus R to open the Run dialog. Type temp and, and percent temp percent hit Enter. This will open the folder where Windows stores temporary files. Once inside the temp folder, press Ctrl plus A to select all files and folders. Press Delete on your keyboard to remove everything. If any files are currently in use by the system or apps, you'll see a prompt, click Skip, to ignore those files and continue deleting the rest. Final step, restart your PC. Now that you've made all these changes, restart your computer to apply them fully. You should notice, Lower idle memory usage, faster response times, quicker startup, less background clutter. If your system still feels slow, these tips should have helped take the edge off. But if you're still having issues, it may be time to consider adding more RAM, upgrading to an SSD, doing a clean install of Windows. If this video helped, please consider liking and subscribing. I'll have more tips and deep dive performance tutorials coming up. Thanks for watching. And until next time, take care and happy computing.